Hi guys, Steve Girardi here. Welcome to Steve Strings. Today I have another review video for you. In this case, it is a cajon. The folks from Todo Music asked me to check out one of their cajons. So I said, sure. Let's go ahead and go over it. The starters here, you can see that it comes in this pretty well padded uh, carrying case. And this carrying case, you can see, has two uh, shoulder straps so you can carry it backpack style. It also has this very well padded carrying handle. Now on the face of it here, you can see that their logo is embroidered into it and it has a pocket here, which is good because they uh, sent a couple accessories along with it to include a, a dancing man figured um, uh, like carrying or shoulder strap. And this matches a logo that's on the instrument. And it also comes with a snare. So if you want to have a snare on the cajon, you can strap that on. And both of these should be able to be carried quite easily within that, uh, that little carrying pouch that they have there. So let's go ahead and look at the instrument. Uh, first, I should say that this thing opens um, all the way on both sides, so it opens up completely, all right? So let's take a look. So you can see that this is not just a typical boring rectangular cajon, but rather this is a dodecagon, or rather it has 10 sides to it. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at some of the details of it. First, you can see it has this dancing man sort of uh, artwork on it, which goes with the, the carrying strap. Uh, this is reportedly made with um, a, a birch. That is to say that the, the sound boards on this are, are made of birch. Uh, so again, you can see that this here is, what, about what three and a half inches wide, something like that. Um, it has a couple of strap buttons on it. So if you want to carry it uh, like across your shoulder or around your neck or put it around your waist, you've got lots of options for, for strapping this. Also, you can see here that it has this little um, sound hole cover, which you can pivot away so that you can adjust the volume that comes out of this. And I think that's a pretty interesting kind of feature. Uh, it's worth noting that um, uh, while, try to look closely here, you can see that each of these sound boards, the, the top and the back, uh, are about the same thickness, maybe a quarter of an inch. But hopefully you, you might be able to see in there, and if not, I can put up another video, uh, but that the, the top is free floating. That is to say, it is not braced across the top, as opposed to the other side, if you look up in there, you may be able to see that, uh, this has like two overlapping like braces that make contact with that. So, I mean, you can really beat on the back side of this as hard as you want with no fear of any kind of damage. Whereas the top here, not that you'd probably damage it, but because it's thinner, it's bound to resonate more, more freely, right? So again, I'll put a little video up here and hopefully you can, you can see that uh, with a bit of a zoom in. Let's go ahead and take a look inside this cajon. You can see that here on the, uh, the figured side, if you're looking here, you can see that there's bracing, but the bracing does not touch that uh, figured side of the cajon. The bracing is like overlapping pieces of wood that are glued to the back of the cajon, and they go like the full width of the cajon so that the back of the cajon is stiffer and can be hit quite percussively with no fear of damaging it. And the, and the figured side of the cajon is uh, um, not braced, and so it has opportunity to uh, reverberate more freely. So again, this uh, little sound hole cover lets you adjust the volume to that. Uh, but let's go ahead and, um, and see what this sounds like, just sort of free as it is right now. I'll open this up all the way for you for now. And so I tap here on the top soundboard. Right, that's just free on the back side, which is stiffer. All right, and play it this way. Now, something I discovered when I was playing around with this if I hold this against my body, my body being pressed against it actually mutes it. So, just keep that in mind when you're playing this. as opposed to 
You see, it's, it's much more muted. Let me go ahead and put the, uh, um, the snare on this and we'll see what it sounds like with the snare. I now have this, the snare installed, as you can see. And again, it just has this elastic strap, which is adjustable. So you can adjust how much tension you want on it. And it slides on with no trouble. So let's go ahead and uh, hear what it sounds like. Oop, let me get it set up here. Let me go ahead and put the snare on the opposite side so you can see what it sounds like there. Okay, so now I have this on the back side, the non-figure side, which is, as I said, stiffer. So let's hear this. So there you go. So either with or without the snare, you can utilize this. All right. And the other side. So the beauty of this that I like is it has some uh, some variation or variability in tonal properties, depending upon which side you decide to strike or, you know, where on it you decide to strike. So lots of options. The other thing I really like about this is this, this, uh, the shape of it. Um, it's, if you want to put this in your lap, I had this earlier, I just had it set in my lap and I could hold it with my knees. Uh, it's very easy to hold that way. And again, it does have the strap buttons with the, the shoulder strap. You can either put around your waist, around your shoulder, around your neck, whatever you want. So if you're looking for a cajon and you want something that's not kind of boring, rectangular, uh, this is one to look at. It has an interesting shape. Um, it, it, you can uh, hold it between your legs. You can hold it on your lap. You can put it on your chest. Lots of options that way because of the, of the, the strap it has. But also it has some interesting artwork and some variability in tonal properties depending upon which side you want to do your percussion on. I hope you found today's review of this Dodecagon Cajon uh, interesting or helpful. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my reviews or the instruments I build, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.